Hi there guys, this is Rob back for a third review. I'm really starting to get into this now and enjoy it. And I've picked up a few subscribers, so thanks very much to those guys that have hit subscribe. And if there's any more of you, please hit subscribe. So, this is Fall of Cybertron Generations Shockwave. And it's fantastic. I love this figure and I recommend you go and pick it up as soon as possible before they sell out and start going for stupid prices on eBay. He is brilliant. The colours are fantastic. It's just everything I like about uh, Transformers really. He's lovely deep purple with this neon pink thing going on with the clear parts and other painted pink applications. He's got this lovely aircraft afterburner sort of burnt steel or burnt aluminium look going on as well. Nice thrusters at the back. The alt mode looks pretty wicked and you've got options here too and yeah, put them back and you get a sort of sporty look to it I suppose it looks really fast that way now um, another thing I found about this is that it's very G1-esque and even more so you can make him a sort of fan triple changer if you pull those down you've got a little handle and you've got a shockwave gun which is cool Bit iffy, I suppose, but it kind of works. I suppose if you want to, you can pull the fists out and make it a bit longer. If you really wanted to. Look a bit strange, though. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> More to grab onto. So, from that, that starts his transformation off. You just pull his arms out. Split his legs. Watch for this bit falling off. Take it off. Lift this up. Free that, which is his gun. And then that's nearly the legs done. Lift the wings out the way slightly. Pull the arms down. Flip that around. Auto morph head. Flip the wings up. Clip his shoulders in. And then rotate his arms into position. And then flip the hands out if you haven't already, like I have. And then flip the toes up. And the last bit. Just rotate these panels down for the legs, which sort of tab into place, but only loosely. They do stay there, but it's just a sort of groove to catch them in. And you have a fantastic robot mode. It's got lots of sculpted detail on. The colours, again, are fantastic. It's so retro and 80s, and that just appeals to me very much. It really reminds me of old 80s cartoons and ate its Transformers with this deep purple and the pinky thing going on. It looks wicked. The light piping is fantastic. The light's actually shining towards him at the moment and you can see it there is very effective. From where I'm looking it's really fired up and looks fantastic. The plastic is really dense it seems which is good because there's been some rubbish plastic used on some moulds I've found over the last couple of years but it's good to see they improving that again and that detail is great he is a bit small but he isn't that small for a comparison I've got Universe Classics uh, Optimus Prime which I've customised and super glued his torso together so that it doesn't have the stupid spinny thing going on which I can't stand and I'm sure a lot of people can't but he is a good poseable figure now and he looks like Optimus Prime which is always a good thing and I am a bit of a Prime fan well a lot of one actually <laughs> anyway here's his gun so you fold the hand up whichever one you want but I think it should be on his right so there's that and then find the way for that to go on and you've got an option you can have that on or you can have it off that looks badass and so does that and again this is made out of clear plastic and that pink really fires up nice in the sun so uh, definitely pick him up if you can because uh, I'm sure it'll be one of those ones that becomes scarce pretty quick and I'd love to pick up a G1 Shockwave at some point if I can afford one and uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up 
could say uh, a thanks to Kapow Toys who I got this off for the three pack. I did pick them up with uh, Optimus and Jazz, and they're all fantastic figures. All good in their own right. Optimus probably being the most poseable of a lot of them. Definitely with regards to the feet. This guy's just got toes that bend. But he's a good solid figure. And uh, definitely pick him up. So, thanks very much guys. And uh, please hit subscribe. Cheers.